right, that's starting to look better already. There we go then, the board and batten side, or the board and batten cladding, or board and batten siding, whatever you want to call it. It's all pressure treated, so it should be all right. But really, I just wanted to clad that side, and I've done the other side as well, I've done the other side of the shed. So that's great. So that's the workshop about finished now, because I've got the roof done, and got that done. Great stuff. Right, now I've got the uh, the shed cladded, it's on to this job. So what I'm doing with this toolbox is going to give it a clean and then I'm going to get some of that uh, machine wax on it to keep the rust there but make sure it doesn't go any further. As you can see a lot of the colours faded on here because this is what the colour would have been like on the back there. It would have all been that. So I don't, I'm not sure whether this is a snap-on toolbox or not, because the badge, whatever was there, is missing. But uh, it's a lovely toolbox, and yeah, I want to keep all this old look and the stickers that he's got on there. And uh, some of the tools that were in here were snap-on ones, well, are snap-on ones. And like this is full, so all this stuff will be going back in here. My plan for this is to give it a clean. I think I'll use some uh, white spirit. Clean it all, then I'm gonna use the machine wax. Job at the back of the house and that's where the uh, tool chest is going but to strengthen these I've put these legs there to strengthen the brackets that they're on because this gets unbelievably heavy when it's full of tools so now I'm gonna get all these tools these are all tools so I'm gonna clean them all and put them back in the drawers. That's the plan. Got all these tidied up and organised. These should help me keep my car on the road. Right, let's get into the other workshop. Right, the next thing I want to do... A while ago I put this uh, 
opening part just there just to let uh, fresh air in but I want to put some steel bars up just to slow anybody down if they were breaking in because I got bars everywhere else so I'm just going to uh, drill them and fix them to there just to make it a bit harder to get through if they manage to break into that part it's all about slowing people down and then I've got an outside because outside here is where I put the sail up to work under if I want to work outside so I think I'll put this double socket this weatherproof socket outside of here so I've got electric out there I don't think I'll wire it in permanently I think I'll put it through put a plug on and just uh, plug it in when I want to use it just so that there's not power going to it all the time I think that's what I'll do so I'll get these bars up first That'll do. So these were just a couple of old bars that were kicking around already like this. But yeah, that'll do the job nicely. So yeah, I've had this for a while. I've just never got around to doing it. But like I say, I'm not wiring it in permanently. I've just found this plug with some wire. I think this might have been off my little metalwork lathe when I got it. When I sorted out the electrics on that. This might have been from that. Because I don't think there'll be a problem having it on a plug because uh, I'm, not oh, I'm not planning on having a, a lot of electric drawing through these. It'll just be on the odd occasion. Right, that's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. It'd be great to have you follow along. And thanks to all my current subscribers. If you like the video, if you give it a thumbs up, that'd be great. I'm going to tidy up now, but I'll see you next time in the workshop. Take care.